Hey, happy Whiteboard Wednesday. Look, today I wanna to talk to you about shoulder mobility and shoulder flexibility. In essence, shoulder health. That's a big deal. I know you don't like feeling uncomfortable. I know a lot of the movements just in life or in the gym, whatever, require your shoulders. And what are some things that we can do to feel better and make other things easier? So look, when you're looking for mobility, that's what we're gonna talk about. You wanna go from the inside out. If you're getting what's called a shoulder impingement, meaning that you raise your arm up and there's a little discomfort in there, here's a really neat exercise you can do to loosen that thing up. I want you to take a red band and I want you to hook it in between the J hooks. If you need to wrap it around the band for a little bit more tension, or around the hook for a little bit more tension, you can. But I want you to grab it with one hand. Step back and I want you to make the hardest twist that you can, keeping the elbow straight. Hardest twist that you can, keeping the elbow straight. Maybe you just need to do one piece of it, that's okay. And you twist out and in. And I want you to do a whole bunch, like 25 or 30 repetitions. And you're gonna start feeling all the little tinglies in here and all this blood flowing in. Wow, you're gonna start feeling your elbow, you're gonna start feeling your shoulder. All that burning that you're feeling is gonna be a whole lot of blood that's going to that area to then get you ready to stretch. Doing about 25 to 30 on each arm is a great, great warm up tool. After you feel warmed up and prepped, you would come over here. Another exercise that you could use to stretch your shoulder is this simple exercise with this band. When your shoulders get really tight, it's usually because of your lat muscles, these big muscles back here. So your lat runs all the way down through here. We need to loosen that up. So here's what I want you to do. Take a green band, loop it around the rig, about chest, like bottom of your sternum height. You're gonna take the arm that you wanna stretch, stick that wrist in this way. Then grab the band so it runs through your thumb and first finger. And you're gonna flick your elbow up. With your elbow up like this, you're gonna be able to reach forward with your palm facing the ceiling, palm facing the ceiling. Reach forward and just stretch as much as you can. When you're doing this, I want you to think about the band pulling you not you pulling on the band. You don't wanna do this and lean over. You wanna sit up, elbow back, reach into the stretch. Let your elbow just fall back. Settle into your breathing. And just sit here for 30, 40 seconds on one side and then change and go on the other side. And I would do that about two times on each arm. What we're trying to get you to do with that red band is similar to when you hang from the rig and shrug through your shoulders or do the cuff isolations on the ground. That's a way to prep the movement. After you prep it, I want you to stretch it. Prep it and then stretch it. So you're gonna grab that band again, sit here for 30, 45 seconds, lean into it, pull the arm back, and I want you to feel all this. When that gets loose, front squats, thrusters, shoulder to overhead, anything that lives in this front rack, power cleans, wall balls, becomes way easier. When you can stretch like this, kettlebell swings, handstands, up on the rings, all of that becomes way easier. So look, if you're feeling discomfort, stretching is a great thing to do. I'd probably do it about five, 10 minutes before class, and if you can, five to 10 minutes after class, but the prep work will get you set up for the workout. Happy Whiteboard Wednesday.